Oh dear God. <laughs> How am I supposed to get this? Jenny! Hey guys, welcome back to BGC Dreams. This is Jay and I'm here with Jenny for another special unboxing event. <laughs> I swear, I'm not trying to be the unboxing girl here. It just so happened that we have stuff <laughs> that needs to be unboxed. As you might have guessed it, it's of course coffee related since <laughs> coffee is Jenny's number one vice. Which is all good because we all have something. For myself, it's Apple products. For Jenny, it's without question, coffee. <laughs> Well, Jay has been very, very, very supportive with my coffee. I don't <laughs> think I have a choice, but... <laughs> no, the Amazon uh, free shipping to the Philippines helped a lot though. We'll get into more details of that later, but first, the main event, which Jenny has been looking forward to, I'm pretty sure, for a few years now. And this decision came as a consequence of pretty much us having exhausted and tried out basically every single coffee shop out in BGC. That's not to say there isn't amazing coffee out there in the city, because there certainly is. But I think we finally reached a point in time where Jenny wanted to kind of step up her game and try things on her own. Yep, that is correct. Uh, I think we mentioned that BGC is like becoming a Bonifacio Global Coffee right now. So we have a few favorites. Uh, we have a few favorite coffee shops out there. But yes, yeah, Jay mentioned, uh, I've come to the point where I really wanted to make my own not just like a regular coffee, but an, an espresso coffee. So without further ado, are you guys ready? Let's go. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> As you can see. This product is so big that Jay can't fit on the screen. Here we go. This box is like bigger than me. Okay, here's the first one. I think this is what they call barista kit. So this is usually free uh, for some Breville products and we're lucky to get this uh, together with the Bambino Plus. This is a knock box here. Uh, yeah, a knock box. And um, I think this is uh, for cleaning the tablet. We'll open it up in a while. Let me continue this. Oh dear God, <laughs> how am I supposed to get this? <laughs> Jenny, I need help. <laughs> all right, take two. <laughs> well, first of all, we're gonna do it like this. <laughs> I think that'll be easier. So you okay, hold one yeah. side? Yep. Okay, ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh my God. Ready!
J. L. <laughs> it's heavy. Help. It won't budge. Thanks, Jay, for your help. Wow, it's really here. <laughs> Ta-da! And here it is at long last, the Breville Bambino Plus Espresso Machine. Yep, I've been waiting this my whole life, and today is finally the day! Now before we dive into it and Jenny starts trying to make her very first espresso, yeah? I'm very excited for that! <laughs> <laughs> Please hurry up! <laughs> Long story short, the Barista Express is probably the most popular Breville model out here in the Philippines, but one thing we did notice is that, especially in the Philippines, for whatever reason, probably due to the inflation, the price of that particular model has been escalating pretty rapidly over the last few years. Yeah, I remember like a few weeks back, we were checking, checking it out at SNR and it was like around 35,000 pesos. And yeah. how much is it now? It's gone up to as high as 52,000 pesos for the Barista Express. Oh um, when it's on sale, you might be able to get it closer to 47,000 pesos. Um, but anyways, with the Bambino Plus here, the price in the Philippines is actually pretty close to what you would find in the States, such as Amazon. Yeah. So we got this unit for 27,000 pesos, which translates to about $460 US. And that's kind of more or less what you'll find on Amazon. So that's pretty cool. And as I've covered in previous vlogs, when it comes to electronics and appliances, um, to purchase them in the Philippines usually entails paying a premium, yeah. since there is a pretty excessive um, VAT or import duty for these type of gadgets. Luckily, for whatever reason, the Bambino Plus is very affordable globally. Um, so you're actually not really paying more to buy it here locally in the Philippines. Yep, and I think the reason for that is because there's so many coffee shops here, especially in BGC, and I noticed that some of them are actually using the Breville brand. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what makes it easy to you know purchase it in, in, a, in a not so expensive... Yeah. And for us, the Bambino Plus actually turns out to make more sense than the Breville Barista Express since, as Jenny covered in the last vlog with the unboxing and testing of the Cuppa Conical Burr Grinder, we actually don't need another grinder, yeah. which you would get since that's integrated with a Barista Express. So going the route of the Bambino Plus, Jenny can actually just keep using her independent um, Conical Burr Grinder. Yeah. And this machine is purely for extracting the espresso and for the uh, the milk texturing. So that works out perfectly for us. And it turns out it's actually even more beneficial because this Bambino Plus unit actually has kind of newer technology. It has yeah. this proprietary thermal jet heating system, which sounds like a lot of jargon, but basically at the end of the day, what matters is it can heat up in like three seconds. So, you know, we're probably not the most patient people in the world. <laughs> So that actually works out really well for us um, to be able to, you know, start extracting coffee very rapidly. Yeah, this machine here is beginners friendly. So for someone especially like me, I haven't, I, I've never made an espresso coffee in my whole life. So this is going to be my first time. And based on the research that we've had or we've made, so they said that this is the best machine for beginners. 
Yeah, and the Bambino Plus is actually very catered to those who are into more milk-heavy drinks, such as you know cappuccinos and lattes, yeah. which we are a fan of. So it's more um, in tune with kind of our own preference, since with the Bambino Plus um, model, you're actually getting the auto milk texturing. So that kind of tries to eliminate another variable in the equation, you know, especially for beginners where um, since it's automatic, it yeah. kind of takes some of the guesswork away. Hopefully for us, uh, that makes it a very smooth process <laughs> and we can enjoy it sooner rather than later. All right, next would be the parts. Uh, Jay, please do the honor. Okay, with the Bambino Plus, it actually comes with these parts included and these are filter baskets. So the first set we have here are the double wall filter baskets. So what I found out is double wall is actually good if you have like pre-grounded coffee and if they're more than like 30 days old or something, they're not fresh. Um, basically the two sizes is one's for a single shot and the second one is for a double shot. With these, and with these filters here, this is the one we'll actually be using because Jenny likes to grind her coffee fresh pretty much every day. Yep. And just like the double wall filters, there's two sizes. This is for a single shot and this is for a double shot. Um, again, I should just put that disclaimer that I don't have any experience with making espresso. But from my research, I've kind of found that for us, we're probably going to be using exclusively this double shot since this will house about 18 grams of grounded coffee, which I think when you're just making things like lattes, that's probably like the ideal amount. Yeah, that's like one cup, uh, one cup of coffee. Yeah, so probably the single shot is not enough. Yeah, not enough. Especially for her, she might need like a quadruple <laughs> <Hey>. shot. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so we're probably just going to start off with this. Um, again, this is the double shot single wall filter basket. And next we have here is the Porta filter, which is the stock uh, for the Bambino Plus. You can see the dual spouts right here. And this is where the, the, filter. the filter basket Goes. will be applied. One, so one interesting thing about this one is it's actually not a bottomless Porta filter. So you can see here that there is actually an enclosed bottom. And this is something where through the research it might be an additional accessory you want to upgrade into. We're actually already looking for a bottomless porta filter via Thanks, Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah, so this thing is called Tamper. So you basically use this uh, once you put the coffee grounds on your porta filter. Here, well, I'm gonna show you the process later. Hopefully, you'll do it right. <laughs> and then you will tamp your coffee grounds like this, just to distribute it evenly. So next one is the razor. So this one is for leveling your coffee grounds here. It will still work like that. Yeah. So you usually do this after tamping. Okay. Next we have here a mini knock box. So basically, once you're done pulling your shot of espresso, you're gonna have the coffee grounds yeah. that are just gonna be stuck to the porta filter. So with this box, you can actually just knock the puck out, and this is kind of where your disposable yeah. coffee grounds will go. Okay, next would be this one, this little pitcher here. Uh, this is the milk pitcher, so this is where you steam your milk and you usually put it here using this milk wand. This is, they call it milk wand. <laughs> and just do it like that. I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> and last for the accessories or, well, this is basically just actually the freebies. This is not part of the machine itself. Uh, this one, the cleaning stuff, cleaning materials, so the tablets, and I guess this is the scaler. And I think this thing, you put this on the porta filter when you wanted to clean it here. You put it inside, I guess. Don't call me out with that. <laughs> Alright, and that's all for the unboxing of the Bambino Plus. And now that that's out of the way, Jenny is going to make her very first espresso. Yeah, let me just clean the parts and then we're ready to go.